it's a Saturday morning. I usually don't get customers until 10 or 11. If there is someone who orders a coffee, it's usually like one until it picks up towards the afternoon. There's like no one in the lobby right now other than people going in and out. I made myself a coffee and everything's open and set up. It's 9.07. This is my Saturday. This is what I do. And I'll probably edit during work. You'll see my editing corner. I'm back in my apartment. I've been bed rotting after my shift. Just because I'm very tired. I'm going to a birthday party tonight and I wanted to just get a move on and get some things done. I'm currently editing my what's in a bag video. I'm almost done. I usually go for a lot of effects in my videos, but I'm toning it down a little bit just to personally see if that affects the performance of my content or viewer retention because not to get super technical, every time I upload my videos, I would say all of them have a ton of effects. There's some videos that just perform poorly compared to others and I just want to see if not putting so much effort in time into those effects will affect my growth. Does that make sense? I'm genuinely curious. So I'm almost done with the minimal editing, which is such a relief because I have an exam on Monday and I wanted to have my video uploaded and done by tomorrow morning. I should go in chronological order. I wanted to work out. I have to get ready for a party tonight. So breakfast with friends tomorrow. We'll be studying during the day, working out again. And I think that's all for my weekend. I was thinking of being a seat filler for the CMT awards, but we would have to check in at 3 p.m. and the show begins at 10 p.m. and I'm just not willing. I have work Friday, Saturday. I don't want another freaking eight hour commitment on Sunday. I don't know. I'm EP. I'm an EP woman. <laughs> Did my makeup, the bath, and now I'm to eat and drink delicious freaking coffee that I have not drank since I did my trying all coffee shops in Austin video. I have not went back to Texas French bread, and I'm really, really excited because their shit is delicious. That's time over. I have to be there by nine. So this is the fit for today. This is American Eagle. Had these shorts since high school. This is Urban. I just got this a few weeks ago. This is new too. I got it from Etsy. Rings gifted. Nails done. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> it's like his style. That's crazy. Oh, it's in your hair too. The wind is blowing on my hair. Yeah. Hair is so lusciously long, Elaine. It is so long. Ooh, ooh, show us the swag. Do you have any swag to show us besides yourself? Oh. No. It's darker color scheme, so it pops out more. Yeah, but it doesn't pop out too much. Yeah, but then this other one that I have, I love these colors so much. I think it's yeah. more summery. Right, that's true. I mean, yeah, it's a little bit more color scheme. So Texas French bread, right, is underneath like a bunch of tree. Oh no, one giant tree. The trunk is, I don't know how big, it's feet thick. And it was shedding pollen. I literally have been taking pollen off of myself all day and it's probably all in my hair. With all that pollen comes these little tiny bugs. My bag is freaking filthy. Since my bag doesn't close. Oh my God, it's so bad, let me show you. It just gathered today when I was going out before I cleaned my stuff. Look what I thrifted. It is. A a Tommy Hilfiger jacket. It says on the tag that it was $50. I was like, this is so nice. And I put it on and I wasn't expecting it to look as good as it did. And I was like, huh. And I was carrying it around with me in the store and I was heavily debating spending $50 on a jacket because that just wasn't planned at all. It said sale, right? On the tag. I'm gonna show you again. So I decided to approach the cashier and I was like, what does sale mean? And she's like, it's 50% off, 50. So it went down to 25 and with taxes, it was 27. So I got this jacket for $27. I'll try it on for y'all. Look how cute. Look how cute this looks on me. Like, I really like it. Even though it's almost 80 degrees outside. Like, summer is finally kicking in. Well, spring, summer. I bought a freaking winter jacket. 
so hopefully when i go to work because it's super cold and i always wear a sweater when i'm at work or in the mornings when i'm going to an early class and it hasn't heat up yet i could wear this probably gonna pop this into the washer though perfect condition i'm really surprised i did not go to the birthday party last night i felt so bad but i was really hungry so i ate i ordered canes and then i felt insanely sleepy after so i passed out for two hours and then i was like i can't like physically i'm exhausted and i just didn't go see i have pollen all over my face what the hell but it is what it is and i'm glad i got to rest i slept at three though and i woke up at eight <laughs> Okay, thank you. Have a nice day. My hair is a mess. Look, this is so cute with the ISO, the longhorn. Let me see if I can put this on. I just took an exam, so we'll see how that goes. Well, I can't see anything. I think that's the point. I'm so ready. I'm excited. I would be worried if it wasn't blacked out. Miss me posted by Olivia Rodrigo. Oh, oh yeah! Are y'all excited for the eclipse? Yes. No. Is it a coincidence that you shaved your head on the day of the eclipse? It's not a coincidence. I did it because it's, it's symbolic. Yeah, yeah, it's important, you know. Oh. Okay, well, okay. Yeah. Are you excited for the eclipse? I am very much, yeah. Hi. Yeah. Are you excited for the yeah. eclipse? I'm very excited. Anthony, are you excited for the eclipse? Very excited. <laughs> nice. How's your test go? It was good. There was one question that cited an article by the author instead of the title of the article, and I was like, how the fuck am I supposed to know? But he told me what the name of the article was. It took off like a quarter inch, yeah. Wow. Oh my, you wanna just switch it now? Yeah. yeah. The back of your head is super long. Show us the, the haircut, full 360. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's so week? clean. Oh, it's cut. <laughs> Are you judging me? My bitch. <laughs> Elaine, live reaction. Clean ass. Clean ass. Clean ass. I I clean my ass. Good for you. Thank you. I'm really proud of you for doing that. Oh, that's that's real slick. Oh, that that is nice. Oh. Oh. Thank you. I actually felt it from I there. I thought this was like glossy apron. My hair looks crazy. I'm gonna fix that. It is so windy outside today and I had my bangs kind of like this so a little better and then that got all fucked up and it sucks because what's the point of all that effort if the wind is gonna destroy what you've created in 0.2 seconds? I have two packages today. I have a bracelet that I ordered off of Etsy and I have my Adidas Sambas that I can't wait to open. I literally have been staring at Adidas Sambas and all these girls' feet. That sounds really weird. I have been seeing Adidas Sambas worn by so many girls in the past few months because I feel like this is the all time peak trend of Adidas Sambas. And I was like, I have to join. Like I can't do it anymore. Ideally, I would love to buy Adidas Sambas that are colorful and not just like a basic white and black or black and white but in my head i was like we have to stick to the basics first like let's not get ahead of ourselves and buy a shoe that we can only wear with like two outfits let's get a shoe that we can wear with all outfits just like all these girls are doing i'm gonna go ahead and open the bracelet first me and etsy are like this right now when it comes to jewelry thank you for your order this came from fort lauderdale florida or just florida and i just decided to pick a city that was popular i think her name is sarah this is a little card when i'm connected to my joyful presence i attract support from the universe. It's a celestial bangle. It is so pretty, actually. 
Wow, it's kind of heavy too. It looks like my hand can slip out, but I don't think so. That is gorgeous. Next to my Apple Watch, it looks so funny, but wow. Look at that. It has little gems on the suns. I'm definitely gonna wear this with my rings because you see this doesn't really go with my sweater but I put it on before I decided I was wearing a sweater today because it's been insanely hot. Yesterday was the worst. I thought I was gonna die from how humid and hot it was and I was a bit dehydrated so that did not help. But today it was 50 some degrees this morning so I put this on thinking I'd wear a cute top and shorts again. No, I'm wearing a sweater. That was just the opener. This is the main performance. I kind of want to start selling my clothes on Depop again just to make an extra quick buck for the summertime just because I do anticipate spending so much money this month because my birthday is the 10th Today is the 10th. Oh my god. Today is the 10th. My birthday is in 16 days and I know I'm gonna spend money on decorations and potentially a dress. I might just use something I have in my closet, but definitely decorations, food, and alcohol. And to be honest with you, that's a lot of freaking money. I still bought myself a bracelet and shoes. Anyway. Oh my god. Y'all, I'm gonna be like every other bitch. That's my goal. <sighs> I hate you. Know smell, sorry. It's beautiful, by the way. That smell of cardboard. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? It smells like ass. And it's just, it's just cardboard. I've had this happen multiple times and it's always cardboard. I used to think like, oh, maybe this cardboard has been exposed to something nasty. No, 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 no. Sometimes cardboard smells horrible and I don't know why that is. These look so clean. They're brand, brand freaking new. I'm gonna show the side. These are so pretty. Are these real? This was on my vision board for the year. I wanted to buy Adidas Sambas and look at me now. Three months later. I'm really blown away. Should I try them on? Do you want to see me try them on? Okay, I will. Oh my god. Look how cool this looks. I feel like a fucking traveler. Yoga, Pilates, coffee, matcha drinking. Look at these. They're so cute. We interrupt this program for an important news announcement. I was gonna take my exam in public, right? I was gonna go sit at a cafe, take my exam, but I forgot an important thing that I needed with me. So I walked all the way back with my Sambas and my ankle, my left ankle. Brother, ugh. Imagine to my surprise, I walk somewhere, sit down, walk back home, and my ankle's getting ripped to shreds. Like I was like, this hurts and it stings. I'm gonna have to clean it and put a band-aid. But no one told me that Sambas were like that, that they were brutal as fuck. And when I got off the elevator, there were two girls wearing Sambas. And in my head, I'm like, did y'all encounter this? I tried so hard not to limp in public because I was like, I just don't want to attract attention and I'm in pain. So. 